Hello guys and welcome back to Jess Graphics. Have you ever made a design? Have you ever submitted a design and you're asked to submit the raw files in Vector and the design was done with Pixel Lab and you are confused on what to do? Or have you ever submitted a JPEG or PNG design and um, the design was for printing and you got this annoying complaint that the design is always blurry, the design is the divide, the sorry the design is pixelating whenever um the printing is done and you don't know how to go about these problems in this video i'm going to show you how to convert your png or jpeg pixel app design to vector so vector files are usually the best for printing um, because of the um, quality it offers the uh, likely infinite quality the more you zoom the more it becomes clearer and then some other images uh, in PNG and JPEG, they are usually blur and they are not suitable for printing. It's not that they are not um, used for printing, they are used for printing, but you know, printing varies. There are sometimes vector files are the best for printing, and vector files are, are mostly required by most printing press. So, with all that being said, for you to be watching video, I know. You have that problem you want to convert your pc lab designs your jpeg png files to vectors you want to learn how to do that so in this video i'm going to show you how to do that just in a few minutes all right so i'm going to pick one of um the design i made earlier and show you guys how to go about this so i think i should go with this one so this is a design i made for a client earlier so i'm going to work with this design Alright, so let me try to manual this and so I can receive this design. I am saving this as a PNG file. And I'm going to work with this PNG file. I'm going to show you guys how to convert this PNG file to um, a vector file in SVG or PDF format with the quality, with a higher and um, the standard printing quality. So after I've saved this, I will show you guys the difference between this um, PNG file and the vector file. Alright, so I'm going to head over to to P. So we are going to be working with Photopea. Photopea.com. All right, let me return this to default formats okay the next step I'm going to take here is to um, open up a new project so I'll click on new projects and then I'll choose the size I want to use so you can edit this to the default size you want to use I'll just choose this Instagram um, 1080 by 1080 square um, design all right once i've done this the next step is to import our design At this point, you don't just go straight to save the file. You have to convert this to a vector file. And to do this, we have to rasterize this layer first. So I'll head over to layer and I'll make sure I am selecting the logo, the PNG or the JPEG file I want to vectorize. And I will rasterize this first. So I'll click on layer option here 
and then click on rasterize okay so now we've rasterized this layer the next thing i will do from here is to click on image okay let me make sure i'm selecting this and then i'll click on image from here i'll click on vectorize bitmap this will vectorize my design my jpeg or png design this is done automatically so this is one good um advantage one good feature of photopea this is done um automatically more like on photoshop where if you want to do this you have to do it manually by doing some adding some touch to the design so i'll click on vectorize as bitmap and then if you check here you see that if you are to zoom this first one which is look at this so this one on top is our png design you can see how blurry it is i said blurry it is. and then this one below is the vectorized png you can see okay let me disable this You can see the one below the more you zoom the more it becomes clearer the more the quality increases and then the one above is the default file and it's blurry if you are zooming this it becomes blurry and it's not good for prints all right so that is the difference what i'm going to do now is to click on ok so once i click on ok our um our png file will be replaced with the vectorized file and then you're good to go the next thing to do here is to save the file in vector form and vector form formats for print are usually in svg or pdf formats so i'm going to go over to file and then export as and i'll choose svg you can save it as svg or you save as pdf so i'm going to click on svg and then without clicking any other option just leave the option this way i'll click on save and then we have our vectorized pixel lab file so guys thank you for watching and this video really helped you um get through your design and print kindly subscribe share the video and give and give it a thumbs up see you all in my next tutorial